Well guys, good morning because it is morning here and um, I'm coming with a totally different video today. I am doing a video about getting rid of 100 things. I was inspired by Jen at a thousand words and I'm gonna put a link to her video either up here and down in the links below. She's a um, vlogger and she has lots of cool lifestyle videos and stuff I love watching from New Zealand and she did this she got rid of you know this declutter video about decluttering 100 things and I was like oh, such a cool idea it was a bit tricky for me though because I love decluttering and I just I recycle things and get rid of stuff all year all the time I'm not someone who holds on to things so it was actually it took me over a month to find all of this stuff, but I finally finished it and I wanted to put this together. So here I am finishing. So I decluttered 100 things out of my house and I have recorded it so you can watch all the junk that I had and you can see it and hopefully it is um, inspiring to you. So with no further ado, let's get on to see the 100 things we got out of our house. Probably my favorite SPF. Um, use. I absolutely adored this stuff. Um, this is one of my favorite brands of all time. I'm going to be getting rid of these two nail polishes. Um, this one I just, it's not opaque enough. When then I was given this one and I love it, the idea of it, but every time I use it, I hate it. So yeah, I kept my favorites that I still use now, but these ones I haven't used since before I was married except this one and the last time I did it, I was so irritated with her I turned it off so these are going to go to someone who will actually use them I really enjoyed reading um, watching this I would highly recommend it to anyone um, I don't know where it is so I'm just gonna get rid of this and to be honest I probably can get this at the library or for my midwife I have a few books here um, I have this did this Bible study last spring and it was good. Um, it wasn't as good as the other things I've done with her before, but it was okay. And I'm just, I don't need this. I was given this book and it's good. I've kind of read a few different things throughout it, but I'm not going to read it again and I don't need to have it in my bookshelf. This was a gift from one of my students. Um, it's... I'm not a diary keeper. I love music, but to me, music is just part of my life. It's not something that I separate out. This is a bit hard for me. I hate getting rid of classics, but I'm going to get rid of this one, or pass it on, I should say. Probably my favorite um, princess movie, Cinderella, and so I kept, I held on to this, but it's in VHS, and although I still have a VCR player, I don't ever plug it in. Um, I used to love Bob Hope comedies, and here is a couple of them that are really ridiculous, and I don't really ever watch them. Here are two romantic comedies that I'm going to get rid of. Neither of them are terrible movies, but neither of them are ones that I ever grab to rewatch. Just, I think she's one of the greatest actresses that ever lived, and I used to, I went through a phase where I was buying all her movies. The storyline is so horrifying. It's such a nasty movie. Um, she's such a nasty person that I really I've I think I've watched it twice just to show someone else the movie, but. Again, probably can get it at the library. Another person I adore as an actor is James Stewart. I also like Grace Kelly. And I also went through an Alfred Hitchcock phase. And I have never, I don't even know if I've watched it from this, but either if I have, it's been once in the past seven years. Two period dramas. Um, both of them have some really cool things about them. I just rarely get in the mood to watch a drama. Unless it's a new drama that I haven't seen, so I'm just getting rid of both of them. This story, I mean, it's a pretty good story. Um, I've actually never seen this, but I, I would like to see the whole... Actually, maybe I have. No, I've never seen this one. But I've never seen the one or two of this set either, and so I just think that I'm going to pass it on. Kind of based in the 40s or 30s from the Second World War. So I liked it, but... I haven't watched this in six, maybe seven years, so I doubt that I need to actually have it in my collection. 
As you can probably see, this one is still in the package, so I am going to gift this to somebody who actually will watch it. This is an awesome show. Now that we have a little kid, we can't because it's completely inappropriate for children. I think I have some brothers that would be happy to have it too. Another collection of workout videos that I don't really like, and so farewell. Some big band greats, a uh, set of three, Duke Ellington, the Dorsey Brothers, and Count Basie, I just never listen to these. I bought this on a whim one day because I thought it would be helpful to practice when I, I mean, to listen to when I was working out, and it's horrible. I, it doesn't motivate me at all, so bye. Um, somebody led worship at church once, and his name is Sean Groves, and I bought his CD because I thought it was really nice, but I've only listened to it once or twice. I don't really, I know if I got rid of it, I would forget I even owned it. Um, I went through a stage where I thought I might like Sinatra and Tony Bennett, but I don't. I just like Bing Crosby. So, farewell, guys. One of my students many, many years ago, at least 10, probably more like 12 years ago, gave this to me. I listened to it once in the last 12 years, so... It's definitely not my style. Something I used to get in all these soundtracks or movies, like music inspired by the motion picture. And I liked this picture, this movie, but I don't really, I don't even remember listening to this CD, so. I'm going to get rid of this game. Um, I got it on sale for seven bucks and I thought it'd be really great, but every time I pulled it out to play it, it's so overwhelming to figure out what the rules are and stuff. And there's so many little pieces that we just put it away and play something else. I absolutely love this dress, but it doesn't quite fit. So I think this one I might sell, but it needs to leave because there's no point in having it. This cute denim skirt doesn't fit me. Give it to some ARP, sell it, or give it away. Same for this black skirt. It's one of that, it's kind of that shiny, it makes noise fabric, but yeah, it just, just doesn't fit me nice. So this skirt really cute and I like it but it just doesn't fit and I wore this tank top it's so flattering but it just doesn't fit me since I had Josiah so I'm gonna get rid of it as well this is the cutest tunic I love this tunic but it really digs in under the arms which is really rare for me because I actually have quite small arms for the size I am but yeah this one always digs in and after a while you kind of feel like you have to just rip it off because you can't stand the pain in your armpit so this one needs to go these pants look almost white on camera but they're very pale mint and they just don't fit right anymore so I need to pass them on same with these white shorts they just don't fit right need to pass them on these black, um, navy shorts from Old Navy, they need to be passed on. I don't even wear shorts really that are this long anymore. Anyways, so pass them on to someone who does. This suit jacket is absolutely gorgeous, but it's too big for me. It's three quarter length sleeves, it's so cute, but it's just too big, so I'm gonna pass it on to someone who'll fit it. This scarf is super cute, it's got butterflies all over it, but I just never wear it. Um, something about it just doesn't work right for me, so I'm gonna pass it on to someone who will absolutely love it. This necklace I was given, um, I can't remember with from whom or with what. Um, I think it was with the red dress when I bought it. I was thrown in free, but um, yeah, I'm, I've never worn it and I would never wear it. It's not my style, so I'm going to give it to someone who would wear it and enjoy it. These um, eyeshadow palettes, I think my sister gave them to me for me to use on my wedding, and I've never used them since. My favorite brand of skincare. Um, I actually won this free on Facebook um, just before Christmas, but it's empty. It's just, it's totally empty, and it's already watered down, and it's empty, so this is, needs to go. A little sample of another great brand, Aveda, and it is gone. I'll try to squeeze it one last time and then just throw it in the recycling. bought this before I was married, and it expires 12 months after you open it. Um, I'm not sure where I got this. I might have got it for my sister or something, but I might see if she wants it back because I find it just makes my hair greasy, so I'm going to pass this on. Favorite conditioner of all time, but it is empty, so I will be passing this on. I know it's not good for you, but sometimes a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do, and this is empty, so I'm going to pass this on. My sister gave these to me, and they seem like a really good idea to help poof your hair but I just don't have enough hair and it actually hurts my scalp. This is a liner for um, an old laundry basket and the laundry basket is broken and we don't even have it anymore so why do I have this? I don't know, but anyways, getting rid of that. 
this broken watch I'm going to get rid of. It's totally broken and there's no point, point keeping it. And this thing to kind of peel your heels off. I've never been able to get it to work very well and I think about it in the States back in 2007 so I'm just going to let it go. This is now an empty container of perfume um, that Aveda gives you usually a free one on your birthday and I'm just going to dispose of it this container. I was saving it in case I was going to make my own, but let's be honest, that's not going to happen. Here's some more clothes that I'm getting rid of. This um, shirt. Here's this cardigan. It's pilled quite a lot. And so, yeah, I'm done with it. This hoodie has got to go. I don't know. It was one of those impulse buys that I should never have impulsed. I have a whole bunch of blue shirts, a whole bunch of blue shirts to get rid of as another tank top. Again, it's too short for me now that I'm pregnant and it's quite badly pilled. Yet another blue shirt that needs to hit the road. This is one of those non-cottony um, tops that pills and also look at it, it clings to itself. You can't get, it's so gross feeling, it just feels so nasty. The camera's not picking it up, but there is a stain on it right here, right where I get stains all the time because I have quite a large bust and I just never wear it. These leggings, I like the idea, but when I put them on, I feel like I'm in a circus, which is not the feeling I was going for. Some spices that are used up. I know the ginger in the camera looks like there's lots of ginger in there, but there's just like a thin coating on some of the glass. And yeah, they're gone. This almond flower has is probably from 2015 and I've been holding on to it because it's so expensive I don't want to get rid of it and use it out but there's like not even a quarter of a cup in here. This is really good collagen but again I'm nursing, I've been nursing the end because I don't want to say it's gone so goodbye. I bought this water bottle as a backup for Josiah, but um, it's so hard to clean because it's so narrow that we never use it because we're so irritated by it when we have to clean it. So I think I'm just going to pass it on. I bought these slippers for people when they came over to our basement because it was so cold. But I think I've lost the other one because I haven't found it since we moved into this house. So I'm going to get rid of this. This cartridge is empty. I don't know why I'm holding on to it, so bye. Okay, to wrap everything up, I have a few things here. A pair of shades I bought once because I couldn't find mine, and I really don't like that they're blue and yellow. Um, just a tiny bit of cream left in this. Obviously, we tried to get everything we could out, so this is gone. Received this as a gift and I've used it and enjoyed it but it doesn't really burn properly anymore so I'm gonna get rid of it. Lotion is empty. I can't get anything else out of it so all done. Really don't like this deodorant. I know it's probably better for me than the ones I'm using but I really hate it and it does not work. Don't buy it. Enjoyed this I enjoyed this cream but it was not not hydrating. It was typical just regular moisturizer for anybody who just needs some moisturizer but they don't actually need hydration and I need it so I didn't like this very much. Um, tried this one also from the same brand. Again didn't find it moisturizing enough. Um, finished using this up and it was okay but I found it stunk so I won't be repurchasing this one either. Um, I bought these for my wedding and it's from Bath and Body Works and I never really used them. They're okay, but it never, never really did what I wanted, so I think I'm going to t give the rest of this away. Absolutely love this. I love it so much, and it is empty because I love it so much. Um, I have an earring that's missing its partner, another earring that's missing its partner, another earring that's missing its partner, and these earrings that are not missing their partners, Ooh, but I don't ever wear it. Good. And this weird that hairpin that I've I also like never it. worn, a student gave it to me. Last but not least, I have a pair of jeans that I blew out, um, and Isaac has two pairs of jeans that are too big for him. So guys, I hope that that was inspiring. I hope that if you have wanted something to motivate you to declutter some stuff out of your house, that this will motivate you to do so. It feels really good 
to get rid of stuff and as I said at the beginning of the video I love to get rid of things so this was just kind of a bigger motivator the number was was a bit tricky for me to get this many but as I said I did it so it took me longer maybe than some people but I just feel really good to know that in 2017 I decluttered at least a hundred things definitely more out of my house so I think you guys know what to do. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see more and don't miss any of my videos because I'm super sporadic on this channel. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and enjoy whatever kind of decluttering you do. Bye.